Hello, this tutorial explains how to use the new aggregation feature in logic extensions. Using the aggregation feature in logic extensions, you can aggregate data that is read from the Enterprise 1 tables. In addition to reading data from the Enterprise 1 tables, logic extensions can now provide functions such as sums, averages, counts and minimum and maximum values. These aggregated results can then be used in subsequent operations within the logic extension or passed as output to the next step in an orchestration. Let's consider a scenario. Jennifer is an e-commerce administrator. She would like to access a list of the in-demand products to research and understand the current market needs. To get a list of the most popular products from the sales order detail table, let's create a logic extension and add an array as a data structure. Let's then add an aggregation function to the logic extension and use the filter by, group by, aggregation and having operations to filter for the most ordered product names and then test the logic extension. Let's access the Orchestrator Studio and create a new logic extension. Enter the name as Sales Order Detail and the description as List the Most Ordered Product Names. Let's add a new array to the data structure and name it as Order List. We will add members to this order list array later in this tutorial. Now, let's change the input output type for the order list array as output only. Here in the logic design page, let's add a new aggregation function. To add the sales order detail table, in the object name field, enter F4211 and press enter. Click edit. To filter the rows in the F4211 table by order type, let's click the filter icon next to order type. Here we can see that the value in the operator type field is displayed as is equal to and in the mapped object field, the edit icon is highlighted automatically. To add a value in the mapped object field, click the literal icon in the right panel. In the single value field, let's enter SO. Now let's group the columns by description. Let's search for and find description line 1 and click the group by icon. In the group by section, let's add description line 1 to the order list array. The system now adds description line 1 as a member to the order list array. Note that in the mapped object field, the value group description line 1 is displayed automatically. In the aggregation section, let's add include count to the order list array. We can see that the system enables the include count option and displays F4211 underscore count next to the include count field. To calculate the total order count, let's filter and search unit secondary quantity order. Click the aggregation icon and select sum. Let's add unit secondary quantity order to the order list array. Note that this value is displayed in the mapped object field automatically. Now let's sort the orders by descending order. Click the order by icon in the unit secondary quantity order row. In the order by section, select descending from the order drop down list. In the design panel, let's add an array function here. In the array function panel, let's select order list. Here, let's select append row. In the data structure tab, we can see all the newly added array members. Let's change the values in the name field. Now, let's test the logic extension. We can see that the sales orders are sorted in descending order depending on the number of quantities ordered. Now let's filter these orders to fetch the records that have the total number of orders greater than 10,000. Let's search for unit secondary quantity order and click the having icon. Select greater than from the operator drop down list and here let's map the field to 10,000. Now let's test the logic extension again. We can see that the result displays only the sales orders greater than 10,000 and they are sorted in descending order.
you can also add this logic extension to a new orchestration. In this tutorial, we learned how to use the aggregation function in logic extensions to find a list of the most popular products from the sales order detail table. For more information, visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.